welcome. Thank you for visiting my channel. I am glad you are here. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you are here for the first time, we are listening to 432 Hertz. My name is Rochelle, and I help beginners like you in affiliate marketing to navigate through the affiliate marketing jungle. I teach you how you can post links from the comfort of your home and make money. I do tons and tons of research to give you the tools you need to create a business the easiest, fastest, and most cost-efficient way possible. I am always looking for new tips, tricks, and secrets to share with my audience all the time. I am an affiliate with the Share a Sale Network. And I also create step-by-step -step video tutorials that show you how to create an online business with an affiliate WordPress website and also learn SEO to rank on YouTube and Google and other major social media platforms. Are you a beginner? Great. I welcome you. This channel is for you. This channel is for beginners. Can you watch a video? Can you follow step-by-step -step instructions? Do you have a computer and the internet? If the answer is yes to all of these questions, then you have arrived at the right channel at the right time. If you're not sure on what affiliate network to join, or you're not sure on what products that you would like to promote, I've got a couple of playlists that I will leave in the link in the description and also if you look up to the right hand corner you will also find the thumbnails that you can click into and watch anytime. The playlist so you can follow along with me on any of my videos. I can answer any questions you may have and I'm happy to do so. This video is about search engine optimization and I take you into the back end of WordPress to create sure that you do have the Yoast plugin because we will be working with that as well. I will make a separate video for a free WordPress website and doing the search engine optimization for a free site and that will be posted within the next week. In this channel, you do not need experience. No experience, no problem. No experience necessary. So stick around, I give you just the facts. Let's get down to business. I put together this notepad in which I have put the steps that we will be going through and I will leave this in the description. The first step is to add the Yoast plugin by going to plugins, clicking on add new and choosing Yoast. If you do not have a WordPress website where you can use the plugin then go to the affiliate links in the description where you can get a free domain when you buy shared hosting. Step two is going to your Yoast. You will see the Y and you will see SEO. So when you go into general, dashboard, you, the first thing you will see is to use the configuration wizard. Your next step will be to click on the features. 
and save all of your features and make sure they are turned on. And then save your changes. The next step will be to go to social. And here you have an opportunity to put in your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, your Pinterest, and your YouTube. If you don't have all of your links in the same place, you can always watch the video that I created on creating hyperlinks with your social media URLs in Google Docs. Here you will notice what looks like a feathered pen. This is your readability score. This is your search engine optimization score. And this is your outgoing internal links. The object of the, the Yoast plugin is to get two green dots here. If you scroll to the bottom of your post or your page, you will see where it says search engine optimization. And here you will see the readability and the social. One focus key phrase, and you put your key phrase in here. This will open up your search engine optimization analysis. Where you find the search engine analysis, you click on the downward arrow. And this will give you your results. Going back to the, uh, the new post, First, we are going to look at the problems. Then we will look at how to solve them. In order for this video not to take a lot of time, we are going to look at the problems first, and then we are going to look at the solutions. Outbound links. Your outbound links are links that are going to different areas. So your outbound links if you click on the custom HTML Let's add two outbound links. I've added this banner here has an outbound link that will go to the HalloweenCostumes.com. This one has an outbound link that will go to the Namecheap for the uh, domain and address. And also you will see that it has moved from the problems to the good results. So the good results now are in the good results are the outbound links, the key phrase length. If you've ever used the key phrase before, 
the search engine optimization title width, and the key phrase in the slug. but we still have this sad red face. So now our next part of the analysis is the internal links. So here we would go to our posts. Or pages whatever you wanted to add an internal link is a link that links back to your WordPress site If you just mouse over and copy this right from your list, mouse over until you get to the title. Now you want to make sure that you have this up and down line because otherwise you'll end up going into your post or your page. So you have to make sure that you can copy this information together. Let's make sure you have the up and down line and then just copy your post or page and just click copy, go over to your post where it says no internal links. So you want to add some internal links. So what you're going to do is you are going to add a heading because this will help you to break up your post and also give you different sizes. Kay. So you see how it adds that internal link in there? I'll just do that again. Mouse over, copy your whole title, click copy, not copy link, add, you can add a paragraph or you can add, uh, you can add a paragraph or you can add a heading, just going to click add a heading. Three. Okay, and then I'm just going to update this. I'm sure that the inbound links have disappeared and that they are in the good results now. Oh, oh it looks like, yes, the internal links, good job. So what you will do is you will follow all of these problems because you are going to see different problems with your post or your page. 
but this is a number one here is the key phrase in the introduction your key phrase or its synonyms do not appear in the first paragraph make sure the topic is clear okay so you need to make sure that your topic here is clear So I am going to just create a paragraph to begin with because the paragraph needs to go right under the title. So I just put a little bit of information where I used my key my top my key phrase which is right here the bear hug showcase 2020 it's also in my title the bear hug showcase 2020 and now you will see the key phrase in the introduction well done next is what you call the meta description this is the meta description right here. This is what it will look like in Google. This is the mobile result, and this is the desktop result. If you do not use a featured image, it will take an image from the page, and you don't want it to do that. You want to use a featured image. So, you would just choose a featured image either from an image you already have on your computer or something that you would like to use through the free images of Pixabay. Pixabay is a really good place to get your images and you can choose just by typing in keywords and pulling up pictures. You can also upload a file from your computer or you can choose from your media library. Once you choose your image you will see the save and insert click on save and insert it will download the image this is the image that will be shown now in your meta description I'm just choosing another featured image because that one was too once you have your featured image you can go into replace image so that you can fill in the right information So it says here the alt text is bear, toy, teddy, um, so what is the purpose of 
this feature. Uh, okay, so basically this is it right here. And for the title, you can put the permalink. For the caption, you can put the permalink. And for the description, you would use the alt text, which is the personalized teddy bear showcase for me. For you, it will be different. And then your permalink. And then you would set your featured image. This is where you would find your permalink is right here. So we're just going to copy this link address. This is your permalink. And anytime you go into replace image, you will see when you choose the image, the information here. Okay, so we do want the caption to have all of the information in there. So we're going to put both the description in the description and the caption the permalink in the alt text and in the title we will just have the description because this will tell Google what it's looking for it's looking for a personalized teddy bear and then you set your image. When you, the next step will be to your meta description length. No meta description has been specified. Search engines will display copy from the page instead. So this is what your meta tag will look like if you don't edit it. Now I want the slug to say the exact same thing as my focus keyword. My focus key phrase says bear hug showcase 2020. I want this slug to say the same thing. And I want to start with the same information. I am just going to use this information that I've already put here. So you see this orange line here? That means that it's not long enough. If I update it, this is what it will look like. So I'm going to put a little bit more of a description
And do you see how this line now is turning green? But I still have a little bit more information to go. Close the snippet editor and update and here you see the SEO is turning orange so it's turned from red to orange So now it's telling me what I need to do. It says the key phrase in the subheading, use more key phrases or synonyms in your higher, higher level subheading. Okay, so because I haven't put a subheading in yet, I am going to now add a subheading. Okay, so I'm not taking a, a lot of time to think about this, so I am just going to use this as a subheading too. And then I'm going to update. Now, my good results, my outbound links, my internal links, my key phrase, my key phrase length, my key phrase in the meta description, the meta description length, uh, it, whether I previously used a key phrase, key phrase in the subheading. This was the one I was just working on right there. So the next thing that I will be doing. Thank you for watching this part of the video. I have another video that I will be posting in the next couple of days and it is more in depth on the search engine optimization. I take you into the Yoast, the uh, keyword research, analyzing the page, and looking at our search engine optimization settings. Doing search engine optimization on your WordPress site is time consuming. But when you do it over and over again, and this is why I say repetition is the key to success, because when you do the same thing over again, but you do it faster and you do it better, it becomes second nature. And you will not be putting up a post that is not search engine optimized. And I know that I can say that because I have a number of posts that are not search engine optimi optimized and pages and WordPress websites. Also, you will find a link in the description for you to download the ebook that I created that gives you all of the videos that were created especially for the affiliate marketing business for 2020. So go there, download it, keep it for yourself, use it, whatever you want to do. The only thing I ask is don't try to sell it because it is free. I offer it free and it stays free. I may be putting it on um, Kindle, but 
that's something that's in the future. For now, it is free. So if you have found this video helpful, then please give this video a thumbs up because when you show me that you like what I'm doing, I will create more videos of the same kind. And also, when you click the like icon, it shows YouTube that you like what I'm doing. And they will recommend my videos more, and this will help to support my channel. And it, in the long run, it will also help you. I can answer any questions that you have. There is a couple of places that are a little bit more technical and especially when it comes to the Yoast plugin. So if you have any questions, then just leave me a comment in the box and I will get back to you. Give me about 12 to 24 hours because I am finishing off this series of building an affiliate marketing business online and I am creating a ebook in which will you will be able to download sort of like a workbook that you can follow through it will have all of the videos that you need to be able to create your domain name and create your WordPress website customize your WordPress website and how to join the share a sale network this is still in the works but it will be being posted soon also if you would like to join the DIY community which is a community of favorite channels that I have right up on my main channel let me know so that I will add you to the DIY community. And also send me a video or let me know what video you would like to be posted, to have posted in the, uh, the community playlist. My affiliate channel was started in 2018. And I have gone through a lot of information. I have created a lot of tutorials and a lot of things have changed. But I am happy to answer any questions that you may have. And if you'd like to see me do a video on a certain topic, then leave that in the description and let me know. Repetition is the key. I know that I say this all the time in my videos, but when you do something over and over again, it becomes second nature. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but you can do it faster, you can do it easier, and you can do it in a more relevant way. And what I'm talking about is creating the links, the banners, the HTML pages, the gallery, creating WordPress posts, creating WordPress pages, or anything else that you need to do on a regular basis. Do you just want to have one website or do you want to have more than one website? Because when you get a domain name with hosting, you not only get the, your domain name, but you can also have subdomains as well. You do have more space when you have a hosting plan than when you have a, a free WordPress. You can create more than one website. And why not create a website with a desired domain name plus a number of different free websites? I have about 20 different websites 
and not all of them are finished. There are many membership sites that I am still working on. I am working on a membership site for the affiliates for the Share a Sale Network. And if you want to become an affiliate with the Share a Sale Network, the, I will leave the link in the description. And I give you my guarantee that if you have any questions, I will answer them. And I will help you. And it doesn't cost you anything to join. But you do need to have the knowledge. You need to have the knowledge and you need to know what to do. So thank you again for coming on this journey with me. And I call it a journey because it is. Stay safe and have yourself a wonderful evening.